So let's talk about Waiuli. Um, so Waiuli is, is a really interesting plant. It's a, it's a desert shrub. It's native to Northern Mexico and, and kind of Southwestern US. If you were walking through, if you were walking through the shrub, the, the, the fields of, uh, in this region, you wouldn't really notice it. It's, it's not particularly showy. Uh, it's even the flowers don't really look like much. And so you would just kind of, it, it's almost like, um, um, oh gosh, a tumbleweed, you know, it's, mm. it's one of those types of plants. You just, you just don't really notice it. Um, it's, what's interesting about Waiuli is that it produces an insane amount of rubber. It's, it stocks up a lot of rubber um, in its stems. Mm. Typically uh, in the winter, sorry, not in the winter, typically as, as, as temperatures start to shift and get cooler, it starts to, to load up on, on its rubber content. And it's thought that this is a kind of a, a defense mechanism a, against the cold. Um, and so what you can see here, um, so all of the, the gold labeled, um, um, uh, it's not cells, but all the, all the gold labeled particles are actually, those are, are, are rubber, um, uh, rubber particles. And you, so you can see that the rubber is, is uh, kind of synthesized um, in the center area of, of the stem, this is a cross section of a stem, and then it's it's kind of transferred to the the outer region, um, not quite in the bark, but towards that outer layer. Um, and so, some waiuli can be the the stem can be between you know six or eight uh, percent uh, rubber, um, which is which is pretty high for a plant. Um, and in addition. Um, when the rubber has been extracted from these plants, you can actually use what's left over as it's kind of a natural biofuel. So you can, you can, so it, it kind of serves two purposes. So this is why JGI was really interested in working with us. Um, so with Bridgestone, David Derrick at, at Bridgestone, Colleen McMahon at, at USDA, and myself, we, we spearheaded this, um, this proposal for JGI to actually sequence the genomes of, um, of these plants because we, we don't really have a good genome. Um, and if we want to figure out like, what is actually working to turn on the rubber biosynthesis pathway in these plants and uh, you know, figure out all the molecular components, you know, we, we really need a genome. And it's, it's been difficult. The reason that we don't have a genome is because the our genome sequenced is that uh, these plants have a really large genome. It's really complex. Their reproductive strategy kind of makes it difficult to, to um, you know, get pure, um, basically simple genomes. Um, so, so JGI, we're, we're very happy that JGI has, is working with us because they have a lot of experience with complicated genomes. And so uh, Waiuli is finally going to join the, the 21st century in terms of genomic resources. Um, I, I should mention that, that Waiuli has actually been, it's, it's, been known as this alternative, this domestic alternative to um, uh, for rubber production um, since like the 1940s. It was actually, uh, there was interest in World War II, you know, in creating a, a, a local rubber source as, as opposed to, um, uh, as opposed to kind of sourcing rubber trees from, from Southeast Asia. Um, obviously it was difficult at that time um, and then, you know, we've kind of gone through boom and bust uh, in terms of uh, using Waiuli as, as a rubber source. Um, and so with Bridgestone's investment and with JGI's investments, uh, hopefully this will be, so this will make Waiuli a very tractable uh, alternative to the rubber tree. Yeah, so, so is the ultimate goal to try to up that percentage of, of rubber content? Yeah, so, so what I... What I know, and of course, don't quote me on this, but but I think we only need about two percent more uh, rubber content in the stem for this to be economical. Mm -hmm. um, so Bridgestone is, I think, very confident that 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 will happen, um, particularly through kind of advanced breeding efforts uh, using uh, uh, transformation facilities like Joyce's at BTI um, to take genes that we identify. Um, that, that are responsible or helping out with, with rubber biosynthesis and tweaking them so that they, they work better. Um, so yeah, Bridgestone is really trying to turn this into a, a kind of an alternative crop for some of the 
uh, crops that are already grown in, in Arizona. Um, because as we all know, you know, the Colorado River is drying up, Waiuli is going to become harder and harder to grow in Arizona. Um, so we need a, a drought tolerance alternative um, for, for the, the local farming communities.